Good morning. I woke up like this. And Camp Nano starts tomorrow. And so does my vlog series. So this will be day one of the vlog. Let us do a morning-ish routine. Morgan Lee and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. Today is June 30th, the last day of the first half of 2023 and the day before the July session of Camp NaNoWriMo. Yay, cute confetti. How are you all doing? Gosh, it's been such a long time since I have done a video. I apologize. This video is going to be the first in my daily vlogs for July. So buckle up, get ready for a lot of me. If you don't like that, I don't know why you're here. But if you do like that, be sure to subscribe and click the thumbs up. Or no. Yeah, do that too. Be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you'll be informed when I post videos and do lives and all that stuff. So in this video, I guess what I want to say in this video is my Camp NaNoWriMo goals. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good topic to, to go with. Okay, so like I said, it is June 30th, the day before Camp NaNoWriMo, and I have a few intentions slash goals that I want to get done this month, this upcoming month. And honestly, it's a lot. It's quite a lot because I just can't make small goals. I can't, I can't make small goals. If I make a goal, it's gonna be a big goal. For Camp NaNoWriMo, my goal is to finish the first three books in my new eight book cozy fantasy series. So that is a total of 130,000 words. It was 150,000 words, but then I did the 24 hour novel challenge and I got 20,000 words in the first book in the series. I was hoping, I mean, I wasn't hopeful, but like I was hoping that I could finish the full first book in that 24 hour challenge. I didn't. So that's fine. I got 20,000 words. So I got to cut back my nano goal by 20,000. So now we're at 130,000. The plan is for the books in this cozy fantasy series to be relatively shorter than my books, these books over here, the first two, because they're really long. For the Cozy Fantasy series, I'm only aiming for like probably 70k when it's done. So for camp, I'm like just hitting the 50, 50,000 in each, in each um, book would be good. Because I'm planning on releasing these three next year in 2024. I have a whole plan of a whole release plan and everything. I'm really hoping that I can stick to it. July is when the plan starts. So it starts with camp and then runs through the end of next year. So... That is my plan for camp. So 130,000 words in three different books. Yeah, <laughs> 100,000 words in three different books. That is the plan. Also, while finding time to finish Seed Among Good Ground, which is the third book in this trilogy, so that I, that can come out later this year. But the main camp goal is just the 130,000 words in the new stuff. My other goal for camp is to vlog every day. So this is vlog one. We're off to a great start, I think, I hope. So yes, the my second goal for Camp NaNoWriMo is to vlog every day. I vlogged every day back in 2020 for July camp. It wasn't actually every day. It was most days of the month. So I'm really hoping to make it to every day this month. Oh, I also wanted to, to talk about my streaming schedule. Originally, I have only been streaming every other Monday to kind of at least get, keep some content on my channel. For July, though, I will be streaming nearly every Monday and nearly every Saturday. I wasn't going to do every Monday and every Saturday, but I have things planned. So on the 15th, I will not be streaming. Monday mornings will be my usual 8 a.m. Central time slot. And then Saturday is going to be Saturday night hanging out with friends hopefully if they show up <laughs> it's going to be what i'm calling 10k saturdays for saturday i will be streaming at 9 p.m 
Central Time to probably like 11.30 midnight my time. The goal for my Saturdays is going to be trying to get 10K. This schedule is posted on the My Community tab. So if you haven't seen it, you can just click over there if you don't know what I just said. All right, so that is July. That's the plans for July. I'm gonna vlog every day. I'm gonna write 130,000 words in three novels. And I am going to stream on most Mondays and most Saturday nights. Yeah, I think that is pretty much it. The first thing I need to get done today is finishing up the edits for Desloray. If you have not heard of Desloray, I will put their information in my lovely description box, but I have to finish an edit for that and send it back. I'm planning on doing some kind of reflection of my 2023 thus far and kind of really figuring out and kind of recalibrating my year of wander because that was my theme of the year. So I'm kind of recalibrating and seeing like where that still fits and all the stuff because I am making a lot of goals for the second half of the year for it to still be my year of wander. But it is, uh, I'm still clutching on to that spirit of Wander because I'm kind of just letting my creativity flow wherever it wants to go. And yes, I have intentions or goals that I am aiming for, but I'm not going to, I mean, the, the idea is not to keep equating that with my worth and what kind of a person I am. Like, I don't want to be the type of person anymore that just sets a bunch of goals and then gets really down on themselves when they don't hit it, when life and other things get in the way. And I think the first half of the year has really like resonated that sentiment because it's been, it's been challenging. It's been really hard with like my full-time job and battling OCD and anxiety. It's been a freaking nightmare, honestly. But something I said in a video that I will eventually edit and upload was that when you wander, you're not always going to wander into good places. So if you are out there like physically wandering somewhere, like wandering in the woods, you might end up in a swamp. You might end up falling off of a cliff, but you might find yourself in these uncomfortable positions, in this uncomfortable weather, this uncomfortable whatever. And that is still wandering. That is still like being open to the things that are just, are just naturally influxing in and out of your life. The things that happen. I have a chronic illness and I have a lot of neurological developmental, I don't know. I have autism, ADHD, OCD and um, anxiety and depression. That's a lot, that's a, a large mental and physical load. I don't have to perform every single day. It's kind of impossible. So the spirit of wandering is just being okay with that. And I still feel like I'm embodying that spirit, but I need, I need a little bit of recalibration, a little bit of reset. That's what we're going to work on as well. But first I'm going to finish the edit because I said I'd give it back Friday or Saturday. I'd, ra I'd like to get it done early. I'd like to stop being the ADHD last minuter. So we're gonna get that done first. Update time, it is 12.20. I have about 30 minutes before I have to go over there and work. So just wanted to give an update. I have finished Des's edit. I'm going to probably read back through it before I send her the email and say that I'm done. I had lunch, I dropped half of it on the floor, but I ate half of it. So we're good for a little bit. That's that's what's going on today. I forgot I was supposed to stream with Zara on the in on the Inimitable Books channel. That was a thing that happened this morning, so that sucks. Yes, that is where I'm at so far today. I'm gonna turn on my work computer and prepare for that nonsense. And then hopefully get into some kind of planning for the second half of the year. There's your update. <laughs> Time to film a little wrap up for this video. So today I got really just the edit done. Forgot I was supposed to be on Zara's stream because I was editing. Did a little bit of planning for July. Did work. And tomorrow is the start of Camp NaNoWriMo. Crazy. And the start of the second half of the year. I'm hoping that it's going to be good. I don't know. So that's all I got to say for this video. If you like it, some reason please be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're not subscribed and i'll see you tomorrow on the first day of camp and with another video